Hey guys, this is Richard from Welsh Tech. Welcome back to the next video. This time I'm looking at the GK200 gaming keyboard from AOC. So what we'll do now is I will show you what's included in the box and the overall layout and to see if you should buy it or not. So continue to watch. Right, this is the GK200 keyboard from AOC, US, it comes with a warranty ca warranty card, comes with a user's guide, a magnetic wrist support, which is plastic and it is flimsy. The overall keyboard itself, uh, it has a RGB backlight, more LED than anything, and there is a little bit of flex on the keyboard itself. <clears throat> it does have little feet retractable ones so basically just one setting to change the overall light then you press fn key and then page down for dimming the rgb backlight page up to do the actual uh to brighten it up that screen lock that's to change the overall effect to a glow and then screen lock again fn screen lock it's to shut it off completely so basically, overall, I have used it in a few games. It does feel okay. It is a membrane a membrane keyboard, so obviously it's not a mechanical switch or anything like that. So it is a very cheap keyboard. I believe this keyboard is between 15 and 20 pounds. It's rather cheap, but overall, it has got a nice feel on it. The RGB is a little bit too much to be, and I know that's a bit too much for people <laughs> when I say I love RGB. It's a bit too much. I would have preferred them to maybe have a bit more functions where you could change individual keys. But then obviously that's where the price comes up. It does not have any software control with G menu. I have tried. It does not work at all. So let's get back into the rest of the video. Okay then, is the GK200 gaming keyboard from AOC worth it? Now, overall it looks okay, it feels okay. I'm not a fan of the, by the RGB backlight. It's a little bit too cheap for my personal taste. Obviously, if you're on a budget, then of course there are other options out there. It does feel okay. The keycaps are all very thin, so there isn't a lot of uh, noise when you select on any of the... Uh, buttons at all the wrist uh, the magnetic uh, wrist support it is nice the rest for it's very nice uh, it obviously it's got a, a metal top on it so it keeps it very uh, durable so it doesn't go flexing a lot obviously it's a very cheap keyboard I believe this is around 15 to 20 pounds so I mean it's very cheap that is for a gaming keyboard but of course, AOC are known for their gaming monitors, not primarily their peripherals. But I'm hoping to push their peripherals and their ga other gaming accessories as well as the peripherals and stuff out more to you guys. Because I've got some of their uh, other keyboards, their high-end keyboard and mouse, and I use them personally. And they're fantastic quality. This is the first line of... The keyboard of mice this will be the first i have got a mouse as well which i will be doing a video of and of course after these are done i've got more keyboards of mice coming so i'm gonna have more for you at the end of the day it's more variety for you guys it's obviously if you're sick of the normal brands corsair cooler master msi if you're sick of those brands this is a very good brand and personally i've had a very good experience with aoc so i think they overall i think you should give them a shot very nice people over there and that's from personal experience but for the keyboard itself it's okay for the money i personally wouldn't buy it i would personally buy a little bit better i'd put my budget up a bit but then again that's just me it's subjected to people's budget and of course if you don't care what it looks like or how it feels then that's that's fine but this is definitely better than any keyboard that comes with like, like a pre-built system. Like from Dell, uh, LG, Samsung. Much better than those ones. 
much better. This this feels better, and it is not garbage or e-waste as uh, a lot of YouTubers like to say. So overall, it gets a thumbs up for me, and I will leave a link down below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And this is Richard from Wildstech. I hope you have a fantastic day. Good bye.